this seems like a pretty good move for Marvel and Marvel Studios. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about the new podcast coming directly from Marvel and why this might be exactly what the industry needs because it'll give us a really nice and official source for a lot of information for the MCU. Is this a response to what James Gunn's been doing on social media? Now, before we talk about that, though, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. We do daily Marvel and DC videos and want to be your place for all the superhero news, but we're going to bring it to you truthfully and transparently, so you are in the know. Well, this one kind of caught me off guard, but I think it's one heck of a great idea. Now, starting later this month, we are getting an official Marvel podcast. As a matter of fact, it's going to be called the Official Marvel Podcast. Now, this will be where Marvel dives into pretty much everything from games to comics, movies, and series, and also was going to have some pretty big interviews. Now, Marvel Entertainment dropped the announcement on their social media page, and it looks like this could be a pretty great place for Marvel stars and creators to kind of promote what's coming up, but more importantly, give us that great pipeline of official information. Now, we don't have a lot of details about the podcast yet, but we do know we're talking about some pretty big names. Early episodes apparently will feature Marvel Editor-in-Chief C.B. Sobolski, as well as the king of Marvel Studios himself, Kevin Feige. We're also going to get Brad Wonderbomb, who's been leading up the charge of the Marvel Universe on the television side, and several other Marvel Cinematic Universe stars and producers. The show is going to come at us once a week, and apparently Marvel's going to use this to break down characters and do some deep dives into fairly iconic stories. Now, as this is an official podcast, I wouldn't bank on getting a lot of Marvel scoops. This is actually something we're starting to see the studios push back quite a bit on, so I actually think Marvel might use this as a new way of sharing news that won't be distributed through other parties, like through the trades or other various entertainment publications, or worse, through anonymous scoopers. I also think it'll be an avenue for Marvel to start debunking rumors that are not true. As many of you know, the current scooper culture has become mm, somewhat problematic when dealing with some of this stuff, and so many people are out there for just the clicks, they really don't mind being wrong because it doesn't cost them anything in the long run. And I honestly think studios, well, are kind of sick and tired of it, and this might actually be a design mechanism by Marvel to try to get in front of a lot of this stuff and start bringing fans very clear information. Now, we do know the podcast will be available on Apple, Spotify, and pretty much all all the other platforms in the U.S. It's going to be produced at Marvel by Jasmine Estrada and Isabel Robertson with the executive producers of Larissa Rosin and Jesse Berger. Now all of this news comes on the heels of Marvel Comics debuting a very new logo which is pretty much pulled right from the Marvel Studios style and I think this is ultimately a big effort to do a ton of rebranding for Marvel and try to start bringing it all back well from the brink after a couple of years of lackluster success. I think this is a great idea for Marvel. Having some official avenue to give us the news is the perfect thing for them at this point. James Gunn has pretty much sucked all the oxygen out of the room as far as debunking rumors and keeping fans in the know. And Marvel honestly really needs this as somewhat of a microphone to get their message out. Because quite honestly, a lot of projects have suffered from the rumor mill and speculation by scoopers, most of which turns out to be not true and then ultimately leaves fans disappointed. We're going to keep our eyes on the podcast pretty closely, report on any updates they give us, and hope Hopefully, this will be a great new thing for all of us Marvel fans.